Hey, I'm Jeff Stillwell, president of Saw Life. Today I'm down here with my good friend, Captain David Cohen. We're down here in Miami. We're gonna go out and try to chase some tarpon. So Captain, tell us kind of how this works today. Tell us what we're looking for and what we're gonna be doing. Well, today we're uh, we're looking for some rolling fish to start off. This is, these are some deep water areas in Miami where they nice to hold in the winter time to stage before they go and on their migration south. So we caught some mullet this morning. We're gonna troll some around here. We're gonna do some shrimp. But right now we're, we're searching, uh, you know, just for to find the fish, which though they're gonna come up any hour now, so we'll see. Let's go have some fun. Always the upper lip. Yeah. Now we're just trolling this behind the boat. The mullet gives the tarpon away because he hits the surface really quickly as soon as he feels the presence of a tarpon. And then your bait will get fluttery and it'll kind of streak across. You kind of know you're going to get eight. And then you you have to drop it back to them. Because if you keep the, the mullet going away from them, they don't like the steady cadence. They like it when it's like, if you're yellow tailing snapper fish or anything, when it's looking natural and it's three line back. So as soon as I feel the presence of the tarpon, I'm going to drop it back and let them swim naturally. And then they'll come to the surface and uh, hopefully clobber it. Oh, here you go, come on, come on. It's you saw it just, yeah, he's yeah. not happy about things. You wanna see the mullet just to like streak. And if it's clear, you see the tarpons right there looking at the bait, silver with his eye on it. And that's what it shows. He's looking at my hook size. He's looking at, and then they won't even mess with that. We are at the famous Hallover Bridge and we're gonna go try to pitch some shrimp under these pylons for uh, some snook, maybe tarpon. We're catching the slack tide, so as it comes in, there should be more and more bites. I've been coming here for uh, over a decade, learning like any bridge or any place you're deciding to fish. It's a it's an art and it's a puzzle to puzzles the word to figure out how to fish the bridge where it's most effective. What we're doing now is I'm not going to give you all the the secrets, but the basics of where, wherever you are is you want to be under the structure. If you're not throwing it against the pillar, if you're three feet off of the pillar, you're not going to get bit. The fish is underneath the pillar, so if it's just right there, he ain't going to make. So the key is your presentation. He's got to look lively and he's got to be underneath the pillar. Just so never be scared to lose a couple hooks or weights throwing in there because you're not going to get any fish unless you're right there. This is called a double figure eight loop knot slash tarpon knot. I use a tar I use the loop knot so the circle hook could roll into this tarpon's mouth. That's what it's meant to is to slide back here. And if there's no if there's nowhere to wiggle without a loop knot and a regular knot where it's fixed, it doesn't catch quite as easily. So loop knot with circles always. Right here, I slide it around and a half hitch, one, two half fishes under. That's, I'm gonna create this eight. Always the, the barb pointing towards us. Then we're ready to go under and over. Cinch it down to the hook. It's gonna be tagging left over. Two half pitches, one, two. And then you manipulate the line. Just, I want I like a small knot, so you pull it down. Small loop. And there you, and then a little. Three knot, highly recommend. And then like a two cranks off the bottom because there's a lot of structure here. Perfect, perfect. Let it go slowly, a little bit at a time, just to keep engaged as it goes down. Keep yep. letting it go, letting it go, let it go, let it go. And I think, uh, did it get hit bottom? Now yes. close the bale. Feel the shrimp. Keep it taut so you can feel the shrimp kicking. Yep, yep, oh, yep, yep. And now you just put your finger on the, if you want, yep. Oh, we got a snook hook right here. We got a snook. And let me land it for you, buddy. Nice I'm gonna tell you. Drop the shrimp, shrimp in. Two cranks up. And it took absolutely it. no time. Got it. Boy, you had this beautiful scope. Bam! Uh, fun pillars over here we haven't hit yet, so now we'll give them a try. See where they're uh, 
staging at, where they're all hang, their hangout is. Yeah, here you go, Jeff. It's a tarpon. Here you go, Jeff. I got the smallest mono. Come on, buddy. Uh -huh, come on. Please come to me. Come to me. All right, I'm coming to you. Here, please. Just keep him in strike. Just hold him, though. Don't pull on him. Just okay. hold him. Just hold him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna back off spot lock. We go backwards. We're gonna get him out of here. Just let him go. Don't reel. Don't reel. Just hold him. We're gonna hold him for five minutes. Just let him go. We want to. We're gonna get him out of this. We're gonna go with the tide. We're gonna go out, out into this open water. Okay. Get him out of all this structure. Now reel. Now a couple cranks. Uh, let's see where you're at. Going, let jump. Get ready to bow. The other way. Bow. Oh no. Yeah, you're good. You're good. You're good. Great job. Let him go. Start to reel. Reel a couple cranks and then stop and then you put your finger just like that. Reel and then put your finger. Yeah. Just like that. I want to get him jump. Reel down, reel down, and then a light He's finger up. He's coming up. He's coming up. He's coming up. Yep. Don't spin it right there. There we go. That's awesome. That's part yeah. of the deal. Part of the deal, yeah, buddy. They're masters at shaking hooks. Well, he didn't. And, he, and he, break he, he, he broke the line. Yeah, it happens. Light leader. Nice fish, 50 pounder, great fish. Okay, not a juvie yeah. by any stretch. Not a, not a baby, good fish. Oh. That's a real one. Four tarpon just came up to my shrimp as I was reeling my shrimp up. The guy, this is good, Jeff. I just <laughs> chased, my, chased my shrimp up. We're gonna, I'm gonna set up back there and free line some shrimp back. I think the tarpon are staging to eat the shrimp. Here. They're eating these shrimp that are coming from the bay, is what I think they just exploded. Jeff saw yeah, a yeah. tarpon behind us that didn't roll but made a sound. And the only thing they're eating on now is these shrimp that, kid, that are coming in Miami. It's the shrimp. That, and now we're catching the prime tide for, for them to chew. So I think it's going to get better. Oh, yeah, there's, there's definitely fish here. Oh, it's some little thing that got me in the, the jack that got me in the. something. Glad we don't have a lot of these, but your little jack's always fun. Fish on. Come on. Let him go. Let him go. We need to. Go down a couple of wheels. Go down a couple of wines. Hold them. Just hold them. Just hold them there. Nice. Oh, I think it's a snook too. I think it's a snook. Yep. Just keep them right here. Yep. Good job. Nice, nice, nice snook. Good one. We're upgrading. Always fun catching these fish. Beautiful snook. Great right job, Jeff. A lot of fun. Great these things job. pull, a lot of fun to catch. Beautiful snook. Yeah, so it's a great afternoon. Beautiful. Tarpon, snook, can't be. Bay in Miami. Five rolled at really? the same time. Just right, that little pod rolled. Oh, no, here, get, get on, Jeff. All right, wait, no, it's gotta be it. Uh, no, it's a snook, gotta be a snook. Snook coming up yep, to you. Yep, 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 yep. Thank you, my man. I got it. Don't pull on the line. And we got him. This is a nice one. It is a nice one. We're gonna measure this up, see if it's gonna be better. Din -din. It's really close. We'll see. Just a second. Great day in Miami, baby. It's kind of frowned upon to keep snook as a captain, but it's okay. Nope. Thanks, so, everyone. Yep. It's gonna go back in. Okay. That'll be good for some good juju, for a good uh Good karma. Fish on. Got a little nighttime fish axe. I got a good one on here, I think. I think it's gonna be a good snook. A good snook. There's no jack, there's no baby jack that's doing this. Yep, no, nice good snook coming in hot. Oh yeah, Just nice and easy. Easy to me, don't lift them up out of the water. Let I got him, I got him. Nope. Wow, good fish, Jeff. Good fish, Jeff. This one might be 28. Hey, it's been a good afternoon. Fantastic afternoon. Tarpon, tarpon snook, yeah. a lot of snook. Hey, Jeff Stillwell here, president of Salt Life. I just finished up a wonderful afternoon with Captain David Cohen, coming right out of Miami, uh, right out of Hallover Marina. We had a great time of day, called a tarpon, five really nice snook, a bunch of other little things, so had a great time, and we had a very short time to do it, and I can't thank you enough for putting us on fish, and uh, you know, you awesome. showed me a few different things to do that I had never known, a couple new knots, and uh, boy, that tarpon was a, was a blast, and I, I really can't thank you enough, and if you're ever down this way and want to go catch tarpon, Tarpon, mm -hmm. this is a tarpon man right here. It's an honor to be with such a uh, such a class act like Jeff, and he's just. It's... You haven't hung around many people, I don't know. No, man, this guy's <laughs> the best. But no, I kind of all came together. You know, sometimes fishing's fishing, but 
I like to pride myself on getting tarpon and snook in Miami, and today it worked <laughs> out. So, man, I had a, had a great time with you Man, guys. I appreciate it so much. Thank, Thank you. you so we'll do much. it again. I can't wait.